Hi, welcome to Nishcraft. My name is Cassie and I'm your host and today is a Mystery Box Monday. That's right guys, it is time to open another Mystery Box of Yarn. And this week I am opening several Mystery Boxes from Knit Crate. So before I open my box, I just want to tell you guys a little bit about Knit Crate. Not too much, but um, so Knit Crate is an online yarn shop. They have um, different packages that you can choose from to get once once a month and they're they're like um they're, they're like yarn of the month clubs that kind of stuff and and they have one for crocheters and they have one for knitters and then and then they have um really specially commissioned ones and all sorts of things like that um there's a lot of different ones to pick but they also sell their yarn okay um they'll commission a certain amount of yarn for their clubs and then the yarn they have left over they'll put in a, a shop and sell them as well and sometimes <laughs> they will also have uh, mystery boxes now before um and this was like before about three months ago they had them at all times it was in they usually had three different ones you could pick from mystery box a b and c and um it was i believe it was seventy dollars for a non-member and then for a member it was forty dollars um so basically they they sent me a message and I'm I am a member I am signed up for the just the fluff which is fourteen ninety nine a month and they send me um, a a hank of yarn every month um, and it's great <laughs> I mean I like it and you always know what colors are coming because they give you a preview so you can select which one of the colors because they always have at least three different colors to choose from if you um, sign up for the just the fluff but anyway. Um, they sent me a message though saying that they had some knit crate um mystery boxes in stock but for a limited time so i went to i went there as soon as i saw my email and mystery box a was already sold out i was like wow you know so i went ahead and got two mystery box b's and two mystery box c's just because i wanted to make sure i had them and um this has nothing to do with Knit Crate. I mean, it's not Knit Crate's fault, but after they sent it out, shipping got um, stalled somewhere. <laughs> and, and, you know, a company does not have any control over the shipping once they send the package out. So it wasn't Knit Crate's fault, but I did get a message from what they use. What was it? I don't know. If, yeah, it was UPS. I got a message from UPS saying that my delivery was going to be delayed. And I was like, oh, man. <laughs> but I, I got it this earlier this week. And we are going to look at what I got. Full disclosure, I did open this previously. And I did that just so I could put all of the yarns together that were the same. That way it wouldn't take as long to go through this video. Because as much as I, I personally would love to talk about yarn for a whole hour, I'm thinking maybe you wouldn't want me to, so <laughs> I'm, I'm going to open this box. Just want to remind you, I do have a giveaway going on, so be sure to check that out. And anything you want to know about me personally is um, in that description box, or you can even just look at the pinned comment and you can find out anything you want to know about me. All right. <laughs> okay. Now that I've said all of that, let's look at this yarn. So the first yarn that I want to talk about is this. It's called Vitalana Ascendance. And I got four, one, two, three, four of these. So I'm thinking either um, two of, they were two of them in um, one of the boxes or there was one in every single one of the boxes. We don't know, but I got four of the Vitalanda Ascendants. Now, this is a chain spun yarn, and I noticed that somebody who was com who commented back on my um, <sighs> I've blanked on the word. <laughs> okay, <gasps> hold on. I think I'm gonna get it. <laughs> who commented back on my giveaway? <laughs> See. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So one of the people who commented back on my giveaway had mentioned that chain spun yarn is nicer to work with or they prefer it because it does not split. And I was like, that is an amazing 
thing to point out because it doesn't split. It can't. But there's but it's it's still, you know, big enough. You know, it's still big. You know, it's not like it's tiny, tiny. So I thought that that was an interesting thing to point out. Thank you, subscriber, for pointing that out. Um, but anyway, this is just really, really cushy. It is just feels so soft. And obviously it's real springy because it's chain spun and I, I don't know if you guys know what I mean when I say that, but hopefully you do. Anyway, <laughs> this is a sport weight, which I'm really surprised of. This doesn't feel like a sport weight to me, but whatever. Okay. Um, and it is 100% Peruvian Highland wool. And it was custom made in Peru exclusively for Knit Crate. So this yarn, and, and that's another thing about Knit Crate, it's exclusive. The, this yarn, you can't get it anywhere else other than Knit Crate. Um, so I'm really happy about these. I like this color. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I don't know if I'm going to hold on to it, put it in a giveaway or, or something else, you know, but we will see. I really, I really like that. So the next one I wanted to talk about is this Audine Wool's Harmony. So I got two different colors in this Audine, Audine Wool's Harmony. I got this blue color, which is Rhythm and Blues. And then I also got this kind of a it's kind of like a camel color I would say maybe like a khaki um, and that's called jazz so the harmony is I suppose a nod to um, music so let me tell you what's in these hanks okay so these are also custom made 41% um, wool 26% alpaca 23% tinsel eight uh sorry ten percent baby camel and it's a worsted weight and this is just oh it's really great i i really like the way that it feels oh it's really really nice and this is you know it's a worsted weight it, that's a four weight so i really like these but like i said i got i got four of them so that's pretty cool very happy about that too so I, I also got um, two, I got, well, I got four of these Audine Wool's flannel. And this has like a lot of nuance to the dye. It's not just a burgundy. It's got like all sorts of other colors in it. Um, and then I, I, so I got this color and then I also got this color. And this one is... It's, it's got it's kind of like a heather maybe even um, but this is also Audine Wool's flannel and this is in the color slate so now let me hold them both up so these are all Audine Wool's flannel this one's in the color slate and this one is in the color buffalo I love these this this dark maroon I love that color um, so anyway let me tell you what is in these so this is 47% Surrey Alpaca, 38% uh, Alpaca Wool, 15% non superwash Merino Wool, and it is a DK weight, which is a number three weight. We've got 231 yards, or 211 meters per hank. And so that's like a total of like 800 at least yards of this stuff. And it's really nice. It's soft. Um, sometimes wool can be scratchy, but it's very soft and it feels like something that would be really nice to make a sweater out of. I'm actually thinking maybe I could make a sweater for my son out of this. I don't know if he would want to wear it, but I could at least try, <laughs> right? <laughs> All right. So let's go on to the next ones. Now these I have had before, um, but I didn't have it. Well, I've, I've owned a couple in the purple, but I've, but I have not. Um, I don't think I've ever owned more than two in the purple. So we've got four of them, okay? And this is U U R U yarn. <laughs> I'm not going to try to pronounce it because I don't know if it needs to. I don't know if it's supposed to be pronounced or if it's like an acronym or something. But whatever, it's U R U yarn, cozy. And this one is called a butterfly pea flower. So this this is super super soft. It's really great. And I made a um, basket. Or, well, it's, it's more like a bag out of 
their pink color. I can't remember what it's called, but the pink color. Um, I think it's called chai, chai tea or something. Um, anyway, so the butterfly pea flower one, this is the same except it's purple. And it's 45% Hayakaya alpaca, 45% Surrey alpaca, 10% Stellina, and it's a super bulky weight. Um, so there's 55 yards in each one of these, but super bulky, I believe that that's a six. So that's a, that's a pretty, that's a pretty nice amount for this. And again, it makes really good baskets. It is a little slouchy. I mean, you, you probably wouldn't be able to make a basket that stands up. It would be a slouchy basket if you were to use this, but it's just such a pretty color. I, I really like their colors in these. So I got four of those. And then every time I go to their site and I see this one, I always think, ooh, I, I really wonder, I really wonder what color this is, because I couldn't tell if it was pink or khaki. Um, I'm a little bit color challenged. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know if I've ever really told you guys about that, but I have a, a bit of a color deficiency. It's not being colorblind, it's, it's, but it's very similar. And so um, some of these colors, I, I can't tell if they're brown or, or pink or if they're brown or um, green so sometimes I don't know but anyway I thought this might be pink but I didn't know <laughs> so when I got it in person I see that it is actually a very light khaki color um, but this is called spa day and I really I just love the idea of it of a um, sock weight yarn being called spa day <laughs> I think that's cool and it is so soft 60% superwash merino 20% camel and 20% nylon and I mean seriously it is great um, it's actually it's a fingering weight I don't know if that's the same as sock weight but it's meant to to make socks with um, so we've got 400 yards each so that's a lot that is a lot <laughs> and I, I joke about this and and I've said it many times but I have never completed a pair of socks before um, although I made a beautiful one sock once and it was perfect it even had a toe and a heel and I made it on knitting needle I, I actually knit it um, but I, I just was like I don't think I can make an, another one I don't know <laughs> I don't know something about socks but maybe I will eventually maybe I will maybe it'll be this month even <laughs> so another thing that I got was this and this has been so far my second favorite um, knit crate thing and that is the Audion Wool's Mellow so so this is in cordial and they have a brown color as well mimosa I believe is what it's called and it's just perfect. It's so soft. I want to make a sweater dress out of the blue and the and the brown, but I have I have enough. <laughs> so I probably am going to end up putting these in giveaways. Um, but it, it's just it is so nice. I really really like it. My very favorite one, just in case you want to know, is um, is the yellow in the watercolors. Hey Greg. Could you get could you get one? It's it's in the closet where I put I put them all together in the closet. It's yellow. It's a yellow knit crate. He's like, <laughs> he's like, you want me to go in there? Because <laughs> there's yarn everywhere. <laughs> you wouldn't believe it. Um, but anyway, because I want to show you my favorite favorite one because I didn't get one in the in the mystery box. Um, and then I got so I've got two more yarns from the mystery box that I got. And the first one is this Pumpkin Spiced Everything. And this is by Vitalana Tweety Sheep. I, I like that. And it's got these little flecks in it. And it's, um, I think it was left over from Halloween from last year. And it is a RN weight, 150 yards each. And it's 10% Donegal Depths and 90% wool. This is a m more on the scratchy side, but is is nice wool smells good too now when I know that they have um, or at least they used to they might have put them all in the mystery box and they don't have any anymore but they um, had this like green color in the same one and it was like an apple something and then they had um, cranberry color thank you gig and then they had a cranberry colored one um, and I think they called it cranberry so um, they did have multiple colors within their um, Halloween 
samples and at least those are the two that I can remember I guess it was more like the fall harvest or something but anyway I like those and then we got some more of this Vitalana Oasis and in Nevada and if you like this <laughs> I'm actually giving two Hanks away in my giveaway so how awesome is that now I've got two more um so yeah the Nevada um, or I'm sorry, it's a Villana Oasis Nevada. This one looks like it got maybe a little smudged or something, but it's Villana Oasis. Um, this is uh, 252 yards each. It is 50% alpaca wool, 25% Peruvian Highland slash Merino wool blend, and 25% Surrey alpaca. And um, again, it's you know it's it's made exclusively for knit crate it's a dk weight so that's a weight three looks about looks like a three to me and so i've got two more of these and that is the end of my mystery box um so in all i'm very happy with what i got um this color i i could see like some people not liking this color as much um and and like the apple one was like kind of more of a lime green but i actually like that one <laughs> so you know so like I, I i've thought about all sorts of different things that i could make with their kind of like autumn harvest stuff and so i've got some ideas about that um so i'm i'm glad that i got some more of that I absolutely love this yarn, but I don't need any more of it. Um, don't really see myself using this. It'll probably end up in a giveaway or something like that. And um, gosh, I love the way this feels, but like I said, I don't make socks usually. So we'll see about this one. Um, I really like this one. Is it okay if I keep it? <laughs> please <laughs> I think I'm gonna try to try to either make a, a sweater for my son out of this it's striped or maybe I'll make something for myself but I don't know I don't know we'll see and then um, we have this I, I love this like kind of denim color with rhythm and blues this I mean it really does look like denim and and then the um, jazz so I've got two each of these um, of course this and then again that chain spun fatigue green and Greg so nicely brought this this is called um, Vitalana Lofty DK and it's called Daffodil this is my favorite yarn that they've ever made this is chain spun and I am going to make myself a sweater out of this so I'm really excited about my sweater I have I, I know that I have more yarn than I need to make a sweater but that was on purpose <laughs> and of course um, it's really important to me to share some tutorials um, on how to make wearables because I haven't yet and I and you know but just know that when I make my stuff usually I don't follow a pattern I usually just kind of calculate it based on how it how it feels and how how it looks like I'll, I'll write down maybe how many inches across I want it from shoulder to shoulder for example um, and things like that so I do want to say while I will definitely teach you guys how to make sweaters in different styles and shapes just know that I kind of approach it a little bit differently and that I'm, I'm not gonna like read you line from line from a like oh from a pattern or anything <laughs> but anyway um as you can see <laughs> for those of you who saw my last mystery box unboxing um on mystery box monday i'm doing a lot better this week <laughs> things have really started picking up for example it's the um gave me my shop back and they did not tell me <laughs> what the what the deal was but i think it was that i had changed the shipping price because the first um the first shipping price they gave me was way way low and so i changed the shipping based on um after i mailed the first box out which was i mean which was fine i didn't it wasn't that big of a deal um but i just wanted to make sure that i could cover shipping with <laughs> with the cost you know and um apparently there's this um kind of like a i think maybe like a bot was triggered and it was all like no she's trying to 
avoid paying itsy fees by l lifting the sh shipping or something like that. I don't know. I'm pretending. I think that that's it because that's something that other people have told me that they've had their shop be suspended for and it might be like an automatic thing that it just kind of kicks in. Um, but anyway, they, they, as soon as they saw my complaint or my appeal for unsuspension, <laughs> they, 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 reopened and they were fine and so that was great so so that got taken care of um my daughter was having some um girl problems she's she's 15 so she's a teenager and I'm sure you guys remember what it was like to be a teenager and oh she's just you know a teen so and she's so she's got in a better place there and um Greg's not working so hard and being in a grumpy mood and, and all of that and I'm getting enough sleep so I'm so happy <laughs> about that and um obviously I got a new haircut I don't know if you guys noticed did you notice I'm trying to go for like Stevie Nicks slash rock star from the 70s. I don't know if it's working out. I was not alive in the 70s, so I don't know. Um, I was born in 1980, so. <laughs> but anyway, um, I just I, I just love my haircut. Now I'm like hyper aware of it, and I'm like, <laughs> and I want to like touch it in front of you guys and everything. But yeah, I, anyway, yeah, I'm doing so much better, and um, thanks so much for you guys. You've, left such kind comments last week and I loved it and it was just so sweet because I knew you guys knew where I was and how like I was just like barely holding on I'm like you guys I'm trying um, so thank you so much for understanding <laughs> that I'm a human and all of that because sometimes people really don't understand that they're like what you're a human I'm gonna be away from you for a while until your life gets a little bit better <laughs> you know some people are like that it's weird but anyway thanks for for, um, putting up with me and putting up with my long-winded goodbye <laughs> but anyway um, thank you so much for joining me remember enter that giveaway if you are not already I, I love giving back to the yarn community and I'm so happy that I have that up finally <laughs> so get on that I'll be posting more giveaways as well um, and I will see you soon in another video bye for now